solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear to objectively and subjectively evaluate, to objectively and subjectively evaluate each barbecue meat, each barbecue meat that is presented to my eyes, that is presented to my eyes, my nose, my nose, my hands, my hands, and my palate, and my palate. I accept my duty. I accept my duty be a second annual Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival Barbecue Judge. To be a second annual Sip and Swine Barbecue Judge. <laughs> so that truth, so that truth, justice, justice, and excellence in barbecue, and excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life, and the American way of life, may be strengthened and preserved forever. May be strengthened and preserved forever. Five products were outstanding, taste, appearance, all very good. It's a nice variety, nice different coloring. Tenderness was good, moist. Number one had good moisture, cooked perfectly. Number two had good flavor, good seasonings. Number three, the appearance was just outstanding, as was number five. And number four was a good variety. All in all, just outstanding product. Uh, this is a very good chicken entry. Number one was um, slightly bland. It just didn't have much flavor to it when I bit into it. Number two was a good entry, but it wasn't a great entry. It was slightly dry and slightly tough. Number three was my favorite of the uh, category. Uh, it scored very good on appearance. It scored good on taste. Uh, tenderness, for me, it was slightly dry slightly tough so I had to mark it down just a tad on tenderness uh, number four is my least favorite in the category it was chicken leg uh, it looked overcooked in the box so I didn't couldn't give it an excellent score in the box for appearance uh, it when I bit into it it was slightly dry slightly tough uh, it my perception it seemed to be a slightly overcooked so it didn't score well on tenderness uh, taste, it was quite spicy. Uh, I like spicy, so I didn't score it down for that, but uh, others may have. Uh, number five was a good entry. Uh, it looked really good in the box, but when I bit into it, it was slightly bland. I just didn't get a lot of chicken flavor out of it, and it was slightly dry. I enjoyed number three the best. I thought it, it was spot on in all the judging categories. Uh, Item four was uh, it was dry, and uh, that was the the biggest issue with that. Uh, number one had a for me it had a harsh smoke flavor that uh, that that's what caused me to uh, downgrade it a little bit in the scoring. Um, I thought all five were uh, cooked correctly except for number five, which was a little dried out. Um, uh, my favorite was number two. Um, uh, I thought number one was kind of bland, except for the it had a lot of smoke flavor. But other than that, it was relatively bland. Um, number three was good, but nothing special. Uh, number four, the leg, I also liked, um, and number five was uh, kind of dried out. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think number three was my favorite. The taste was really good. It was right on. The tenderness was right on. I had a problem with uh, dryness on number four and number five. Number one, the taste was uh, smoky. It was not very good to me. Number two was pretty good, but again, my favorite was number three. All five entries were presented well in the box and got an excellent score. Number one was uh, rather bland and uh, scored it more of an average uh, piece of chicken. Number two was a little better. Three was excellent all the way in uh, appearance, taste, and tenderness. Uh, number four, the drumstick was dry, uh, overcooked, um, flavor was decent. 
number five was a, a good entry, but not an excellent entry. Uh, overall, uh, number three was by far the best piece of chicken I tasted. Did you take like two steps Here over? <laughs> Look at that. Heard you've been here since like three in the morning. Or two. Oh, uh, you're here at two. <laughs> Bad. I was here at 9 30. Couldn't sleep. Nice. Couldn't sleep. I was somebody like, had to take care of the kids. It's this morning. Game okay. I just took on that responsibility. <laughs> What's that? Yep. I guess my favorite was number two out of that uh, because the flavor and the uh, texture or tenderness. The uh, number one to me was overcooked. It was almost mushy. And the uh, fifth one wasn't bad the uh, I'm trying to remember there was another one that was overcooked on mine they were they were all fair I thought by and large that uh, there were a few that were overcooked um, number six had a little bit of a uh, sooty taste uh, for me but uh, two was a uh, good rib specimen had uh, kind of a tangy tomato uh, sauce that was, was pleasing to the palate. Good tenderness. Overall, my favorite. Seems like we've got two different sets of ribs here. Uh, I've got three that's tough and three that's a little bit overcooked. Number one was tender, a little bit overcooked, I thought. Uh, my two, three, and four was a little bit tough. My favorite was number five. I thought it had a good texture to it, a good taste, tender. And number six was good and tender. I think number two and number six were pretty good. Um, the other ones were either they were dried out or undercooked. Um, number five was a little mushy for me. Number one was completely dry it was a little bit on the tender side number two I thought was an excellent rib it had a good pull and a good uh, flavor profile uh, pretty much the rest of them were dry number five was falling off the bone it was way overcooked and number six was totally dried and overcooked Kids, please don't do this at home. Oh, go ahead. Oh. Well, the pork was all over the uh, board for me, a little bit on the dry side. One actually uh, was a little bit overcooked. You know, two was a little bit on the uh, less flavor side. Three was actually uh, had one piece that was good. It was a little bit uh, dry on the uh, money muscle. You know, four was just about uh, medium. Five, I did have a couple good bites of that had some flavor to it but again they were all on the uh, overcooked side. I concur with the sentiments of the previous judge. <laughs> I'll say that number one to me that from the presentation was just strands of pulled pork and not showing off the ability to show the money muscle and all that and plus it was so heaping mounds of it that it was just cold and, and just was not a good bite for me. Two probably out of all of these was the most flavorful and uh, three and four had a little bit of fat inside the money bus although the presentation was right on and five was just not much flavor to it for me so overall the whole board just was not a stellar I thought number one was rather bland however two and three I thought had the most flavor of all of them also number four was bland I thought and number five was very fatty much for all of your help this weekend Bob you're mighty welcome you're an Thanks incredible you're an incredible friend that doesn't look well three seven that's a little bit better Just 
about done here. Find the, the last couple of samples. This is the brisket uh, plate. Number one, uh, really salty, uh, kind of dry. Uh, number two, too sweet. Um, still another dry, not dry brisket. Um, number three was um, not so dry, not uh, not so salty or sweet, but just right in the middle. Um, that was a good that was a good cut, but it was a, a little fatty, and I thought uh, they could have done a little bit better with trimming the meat. Uh, the number four uh, bottom bottom left was. Uh, really overcooked I thought and really dry uh, and really there wasn't much in the uh, meat as far as uh, sauce and the last the last one um, was just really just was really dry and the burn end um, was just really really uh, tough number two is probably the best tasting out of all of them but it was uh, dry Number one, three, and five were dry. Number three had a somewhat of a beef flavor. And uh, number f four it had a uniquely unknown flavor. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this thing overall to start out with. Uh, as a whole, it looked like a plate of uh, fairly inexperienced cooks or folks that had a bad day. I'm going to go straight to number four, which is in the lower left, and um, it failed on so many levels, um, probably the most obvious of which is that it was cut very raggedly, and one of the things cooks have to know is that you have to cut cleanly and have a sharp knife to do that. Um, this was inconsistent, it um, goes all different ways, and it, its taste was just not there, so uh, that's an example of how not to cook a piece of brisket. Uh, I agree on number two, too sweet, and that overpowered the meat. Um, number one was okay, but not spectacular. Uh, number three, pretty much the same and too thick, it the cook, uh, hurt the cook there. And number five was okay, but it didn't stand out. I preferred the flavor of number one. Uh, it was a nice jerky flavor that was sort of the most authentic to a, a beef flavor. Number two was good, but as others have said, it was very sweet and didn't give me a very authentic beef taste on that. Numbers three and four I thought were actually very similar in that they were um, not not very strong on flavor in any one way or the other. No smoke, not, not great beef flavor, and the preparation, the cut, was both very thick and very fatty and uh, you know, not, not the most pleasant. Uh, taste to those. Number five had a nice peppery flavor, but it wasn't particularly strong and masked the beef taste a little bit. It was prepared fairly well, um, a little bit uh, a little bit too, too well done for my taste. Uh, yes, uh, I agree that uh, number one had the best taste, truly had a nice beef taste. I uh, enjoyed that the best. Uh, number two was the next best, and uh, it was pretty salty, but it but it had uh, a nice beef taste to it. The rest I really didn't care for, but uh, one and two were my favorite.